Hello y'all and welcome back to the channel. Marquita here and today I'm going to be sharing with you a major shopping haul from quite a few stores. So we'll go ahead and get into it because it's probably going to be a little bit lengthy but I'll try to keep it as minimal as possible but I have so many things to share from so many stores. Um, some of them are our regular retail stores and then I also have a few um, from like Marshalls and Ross and places like that. So of course we know that those items can vary based on your location. So we'll get right into it with some item from um, American Eagle slash Aerie. And actually this is off the offline brand by Aerie. And before I do jump into those things, I just want to note that for any clothing items I talk about, you will probably see a split screen and you'll see me um, either split screen or I'll just be doing a voiceover modeling the item so that you can see what they look like um, actually on. All right. So one thing that I want to note about the offline airy items are that they were all 70% off. Yes, 70% zero 70 percent off it is president's day holiday weekend whatever monday is the official holiday but a lot of times stores have uh big sales for president's day and especially if you're looking for appliances it's a, a good time to buy appliances but again all my items i'm going to show you today were 70 percent off including these earrings i'm wearing which i actually got from american eagle as well um shout out to my um sales associate because she put me on to that there was a whole uh, display thing of like accessories and jewelry and everything that was 70% off and she was like we have some earrings over there they're as cheap as three dollars I was like say uh, say less so I went and checked them out um I don't they had necklaces bracelets everything and they had a ton of earrings a lot of them were smaller like studs or just had just a little bit of hang time but you guys know like right now my hair is up so those would work fine but a lot of times when my hair is down whether it's you know curly or straight I have a lot of hair so you know I tend to like larger earrings or something with some hang time so that you can see them um, through my hair so these are actually cute little hoops have little butterflies they're gold and it's like a three four hoop because it's not complete but from the front it looks like a full hoop and they're just so cute so so cute um and these had originally been $12.95 I believe and I paid like three dollars and some change for them and I also got a second pair of earrings that they just called out to me I'm not really sure why like where I'm gonna wear them or what um, type of outfit I guess anything really but they were so cute they are some cherry earrings I think they're cherry yeah they're cherries <laughs> and they were also $12.95 originally and I got them on sale for a little over three dollars so super cute the last two items that I bought were actually clothing items and they are from the offline collection and I got two pairs of leggings so I got the same leggings but in two different colors so i got a black pair and yes they do have you can see your light looking like where's those holes that's actually a design and as you can see in the in the video of me wearing them you can see how it looks and yes your skin is actually showing through there but they're very small holes um and it does make a design and it has this cute little um bottom as well i think it's like called scallop is the name for it some reason that sounds right that's the bottom but they are like straight leg and these are the let me get ready to read the long behind title um the offline gold 7 8 leggings so they do come down to the ankle so it's like a full length legging essentially um and these are in a size extra large and this is part of the real good collection and i will say with aryan american eagle their clothing in general is usually pretty size in terms of size it's pretty generous um so i'm typically an extra large in their like athletic wear athletic bottoms sometimes i'll get an extra extra large if it's like maybe super compressive or i'm um, not as much stretch or maybe a skinnier leg or something but just the standard leggings and stuff i'm typically extra large um speaking of compression these actually have really good compression but it's like good compression but comfortable like you don't feel like you, something is pushing on you or 
or you know it's not tight and uncomfortable but you can tell when you're wearing them because everything is uh pushed in as you again you can see because i do have like kind of that lower belly lower tummy that some women or a lot of women tend to have and i noticed when i was trying these on actually i didn't even try on the black ones i tried on this beautiful brown pair here which is lighter and so if something's going to show like your you know your belly line or whatever like i think it would show up more in this pair and this is actually the pair that i tried on when i was in the dressing room at the store and i noticed that i did not see that lower belly and unfortunately it didn't actually disappear but in these pants it does and so i like the way that it conceals that and it's nothing special on the front like it's no you know, it's not a thicker paneling or anything like that. It's just the way that they're designed and they, the compression does work. So everything, it's where it needs to be. And it feels comfortable. Like you could, I could see myself wearing these all day just to lounge or to go out and about running errands. Because again, they are full length. And even though they have little holes where, you know, you see a little skin, it's not anything revealing. And it's only on the leg. So you're not going to be showing like your booty or nothing like that or underwear even um because it's not that high up so these are cute and different and they did have some other leggings on sale oh, i didn't tell you guys the price um these were originally 59.95 and they were 70 percent off so i paid like 15 bucks for them so uh, amazing and you can't beat that because the area makes some good leggings. Like American Eagle in general makes good jeans, good leggings. Most of my jeans right now are American Eagle. So um, just for size reference, again, both of those are size extra large. That's my typical size for them when it comes to like um, like leggings, workout wear, whatever. And that's generally what I wear across the board. Um, Old Navy, anywhere. So I am a pretty solid size 18 in women's like just you know i can wear like an 18 or 18w depending on whatever it is but um i can wear 18 size 18 um in pants and bottoms when it comes to numerical and again that typically translates into an extra large or extra extra large depending on the brand and so that's what i'm i'm pretty much a pretty solid extra large most of my i have a ton of loungewear and well not so much loungewear but a ton of um airy like fitness uh, stuff I guess you want to call it from them from Aerie and almost all of it is extra large um sometimes in the bralettes I'll get an extra extra large but again varies based on style cut all that stuff but those are my sizes let's move on to the next thing that I picked up um gap for those who have been following me since the beginning or the early uh, stages of this you guys know I used to work at Gap I actually worked at Gap Kids in um, the mall up in Northern Virginia in Fairfax where I used to live I don't live up there anymore but um, I, when I was teaching that was my part-time job and I actually like I've always liked Gap stuff um, but yeah so into Gap I wandered in there again just looking not looking for anything in particular checking out the sales they are having a very good sale right now um, Gap has great sales. I'm not just saying I'm saying that. Yes, I'm saying that because I used to work there because I do know and I can state for a fact they do have great sales and you can get some great deals. So even if you're someone who, you know, when you think of Gap, you think expensive because the regular prices are expensive sometimes, but they do have great sales and you can get great deals. And with the stuff being good quality, um, it's worth it to pay a little more sometimes to get a good quality long lasting stuff. I have Gap clothes that I've had for years. As a matter of fact, yesterday when I was shopping, I was wearing a Gap sweater that I've had for, I can't even tell you how many years. Um, I want to say at least five minimum, if not longer, because I had it from the time that I was like teaching and stuff. And I've been out of teaching for three years and I've had that sweater prior to that. So, um, their clothes last and they are good quality so it's worth the price but we all like to save some coins so shop gap sales and going back to what i picked up <laughs> first starting with these uh jelly sandals here they do have a little bit of a heel not much of one they're still flat but it's just a little thick bottom so they're not pancake flat like a flip-flop that's all i'm basically trying to say but these are silver glittery sparkly sandals and y'all see that red sticker it says $2.97. That is why they're here in my house. 
um, and they fit perfectly fine. I wear a size 11 and I was shocked that they even had an 11 in store. They actually went up to a 12. So kudos to Gap for looking out for the big feet gals. Um, and they are super comfortable and my foot is not necessarily wide, but sometimes, you know, like little sandals and things like this can be a little bit more narrow, but they fit perfectly fine. Um, and the straps are comfortable across my feet. My feet can be a little chunky or chubby sometimes, but they're comfortable. They don't hurt. And for $2.97, they're coming home with me. They also had these in black, but they don't have the sparkle in them. They're just solid black, um, shiny black. That's it. They did not have my size. They actually had a size 12 in the black, but they didn't have an 11. But I would highly recommend these um, if you are looking for a nice uh, spring, summer, beach, <laughs> you know, anything. Or maybe even just pool shoes for $2.97. They can be anything you want them to be. But um, they feel they feel really solid. And they feel good on. Next up on the super clearance. We have these Gap Fit headbands. Um, they had black and hot pink. So I got one of each and they were also $2.97. And they just kind of have like the little, little knotted de uh, design there. And then they got Fit Signal symbol on them. They both have that, which is reflective as well. Um, so if you're wearing it, you know, out running or whatever, most of the Gap Fit stuff does have the reflective um, symbol on like the legs or somewhere. So it will show up. Um, these had been $12.95 originally, and so they were down to $2.97. And last, certainly not least, we have the actual piece of clothing here. And this is kind of like a wintry, it's like white, but it's more what I call winter white. Because it has like a creamy undertone, but it's not quite cream. Um, and this was $12.97. Had been $54.00. 95 i don't even think i looked at the original price when i purchased this i just i was looking at the the nice clearance price but yeah 54.95 i didn't realize that had been expensive this was a size extra large and it has these very beautiful kind of sparkly buttons down the front um i like to wear this with just you know a bra or whatever under it but you can actually layer it it's probably um made more to be layering I have this in a, it is a top, so I'll stand up so you can see a little better. It is a full top. Um, it does cover, it meets probably like right at, but I actually have it in kind of a mauve that rose, dusty rose kind of mauve color that was out. I actually have this in that as well. It doesn't have the shiny buttons. They're just kind of like regular color, and I think it's a little more cropped, but it is three quarter length sleeve versus this is a long sleeve, but it's so cute, and I love the look of it. And if you wear the right bra, you know, you make the girls look good because you kind of push them up. But everything else is covered. But it's just kind of a low enough cut to where they're up and they're kind of out, but not out, out. So I like it, especially for like winter and stuff. And they look cute with jeans. It kind of elevates the outfit where it's not super fancy, but it's not just super casual as a t-shirt. So I kind of like this. And this one with the sparkly buttons, you can really like dress it up or down. So I love that and it feels great. Gap has some of the best feeling um, material stuff, like the shirts and everything. They just feel so good. But those are the items that I got. I only paid $23 for everything that I showed you that I got from Gap, which I thought was a great deal. All right, so let's move on to Target. Y'all know I can't have a haul without Target. Now, Target is having a lot of markdowns, um, sales as well in the various departments. So, in clothing, you can find a lot of the holiday stuff, especially like loungewear and all of that. There are markdowns. And I think right now, there's a Target circle for 20% off. And then you have stuff on clearance. And then it's just like, you know, general sales and everything else. So, check them out. The first item that I'm going to show you guys is just a pair of underwear. And I need another pair of underwear. Like I need a hole in my head. But for a dollar and seventy nine cent, we're gonna have another pair of underwear. And these are pretty they look pretty stretchy. I think these are just a standard bikini cut. And they have been six dollars. I got these in a size one X because previously I got a pair of these are the Auden brand, which is like Target's uh kind of lingerie brand, underwear, bras, all that. Um, I got them in an extra large before, and 
they fit all right but it wasn't the best fit and i think i even got an extra extra large in some of them and it was just in so i was like let me get the plus size because maybe they're more whatever or maybe i just got extra large and i should have got extra, extra large but either way the one x should be okay um it looks more like you know a good bear one wear and clearly from the color theme i'm gonna say this was like maybe a fall situation um with the browns and all that but either way i think they're cute um and they feel nice as well but for a dollar 49 i mean a dollar 79 not bad at all they had plenty they actually had in the store i was in they actually had two x's three x's and i was surprised because i don't think i've ever seen them in store I know they sell them online, but I don't think I'd ever seen them in store. And so they had a lot of them marked down too. And like I said, most of them were like no more than a couple of dollars. So if you are in the need of some refreshing of your underwear drawer and you are a plus size girly, go check out your Target because they might have some odd and underwear in the plus sizes for a couple of dollars. And especially for anybody, that's a great deal, but especially for the plus size ladies, you know, us finding good stuff like that, that can be a rarity. So check it out if you're in need. The other items that I got from Target, I actually got a, what's going to be probably a sleepwear slash loungewear set for me. But um, this is from the Stars Above line. You guys know I love their PJs and loungewear. I have tons of it. Love Stars Above. Um, these leggings. So these are kind of a brown color tan color these are the beautifully soft rib ultra soft um the beautifully soft rib high waist legging and it says that they are ultra soft rib for relaxed easy feel now i got these in size extra extra large which is pretty standard most of the stuff that i buy in from stars above i do get in an xxl or xl and i can wear both I typically get the extra extra large because I want it to fit, but not be super tight, like I or not fit it as if I was wearing like regular clothes outside. Because you want your loungewear and your um, PJs to, to be more of a looser, relaxed fit versus closer skin hugging, body hugging. Um, but these are leggings, and I think they do have this little kind of a capped uh, bottom. They fit. And they are stretchy, just so you can see. But I feel like they aren't as stretchy, or maybe it's not even a stretch. I just feel like they fit more, almost like stocking leggings to some extent. So I'm just like, maybe they just need to be stretched out. And as I wore them, because so I just tried them on at home. I didn't try them on in the store, because I knew, like, size-wise, they should be fine. Um, but once I tried them on, and then when I started to walk around with them a little bit, I felt them kind of adjusting to me. So I think it's just a matter of me stretching them out a little bit. And then they'll be a perfect fit, which is actually pretty awesome. And I like this brown color. So the brown on brown, I like. They also come in black and uh, like a baby blue, sky blue color as well. If you can find them. I cannot find my size in both the top and the bottom. And that's the other piece that I got here, which is the top that matches. They are sold separately. But... So if you need, you know, separate sizes, I also got this in an extra, extra large. But if you need, you know, two different sizes, then you can do that because they're separate. The challenge will be to find the sizes that you need on clearance because both items are on clearance. So these have been, the pants have been $17.99 originally. And I paid $5.39. Not bad at all. The top had been i think 8.99 yes it had been 8.99 originally and i paid 2.99 so definitely a steal for both of these items so i got a whole new like lounge slash pj set for um like nine bucks not bad at all so the other thing that i got from target is this bin that the stuff is now sitting in and this is from the bright room um collection you guys know that target has kind of uh brought out some new kind of like their storage um house i think they have stuff for the kitchen storage as well as for like room house storage and this collection is actually pretty decent i have quite a few of these or not this particular bin but like other bins from the collection in my linen closet because i use that 
not so much the linen closet, but more so is my overflow for toiletries, guest things, extra, uh, extra toiletries, um, first aid, you know, those kinds of things. I use a bunch of these. And when I sh do my organizing video that I'm going to share with you guys, hopefully sometime this month, um, because I am currently organizing my finishing, organizing my linen closet that I've been working on since like I moved here and also doing my two dressers that have like my makeup and hair and fragrances and things like that showing you guys how I organize all of that stuff using mostly things from bright room a few pieces from container store that I already own from like previous things but mostly bright room and Amazon and so I'm going to share that with you guys just to maybe give you all some ideas and also just share how you can use these different items but this was six dollars and I think right now there is a cartwheel not cartwheel target circle it used to be called cartwheel but target circle for um 20 percent off like storage stuff as well as bath bath stuff storage bins all that so check your target circle but i'm going to show you guys how i use these in my organization in a future video so that was my target haul so now let's move into um oh one last thing to say about target the honey pot if you guys use the honey pot products i use their pads um, so if you use their products, all of them are 15% off. So that includes like the wipes, the body wash, um, or feminine wash rather, um, the wipes, the pads, all of that. They are 15% off. There's a 15% off, um, target circle deal in the target circle in your app. So if you have a target app, join target circle It's free and you can get access to all the coupons, including the 15% off the honey pot products and also i have a health spending account so i use that to purchase you know feminine care items so check those out i think those come out those are all pads i got like different sizes but the original price is like 8.39 and then with the 15 percent off they come down to seven dollars and 13 cents so i got three packs for like 21 bucks to some change all right so now let's move on to ross now, Ross is one of those stores that I don't typically wander into or find my way in simply because it tends to be, especially on the weekends, crowded, have a lot of children running around, crying, <laughs> not just running around, but crying, um, and the lines are super long. So I don't tend to visit there that often. Um, and I kind of stopped going because that's just, that was just the trend for Ross from the Ross stores in the area that I used to live in. And since I moved down here, the one closest to me, I did find some good things when I first moved and I went in like during the day. So at an odd time it was okay. And, but still I noticed on the weekends, the one closest to me tended to be very similarly crowded and, you know, packed, which is not unusual for Ross. Um, however, I have found a secret Ross that is a way out, way, way out in the burbs of the burbs. Yes, the suburbs of the suburbs. And I think it's a relatively new development, like the shopping center that it's in, because they're built, it's a new area, like they're building new houses and things like that. And it's very much developing. And so I think this shopping mall has been created for that development that's coming. However, either there's not as heavily a populated situation out there. I don't I don't know. Or maybe people don't know that it's out there. Or if you just don't feel like driving all the way out there. If you don't already live out there. So either way, that is to my benefit. So I went in there for the main purpose of getting these nice, wonderful pillows. Now, you might be wondering what's so special about these Serta pillows. And what's special about them is called Lavender Dreams because they are actually infused with lavender. Meaning that you get a little, little hint of lavender scent. And I was intrigued by this because one, did y'all know Serta made lavender pillows? Because I didn't. Not until I saw them in this Ross. And that's the other thing. I feel like because of where that Ross is located and the demographic that they will be serving... Um, I think they got some special things in there that you might not find in every Ross everywhere, if you know what I mean. So I 
again, we'll be journeying out there for that reason. But these lavender dreams, fellas, this is the first time I have seen it. Maybe they've been out. Maybe I just missed it, but I did not know. Because I have seen soda pillows. I have tons. Most of my pillows are soda pillows. But I didn't know that they had lavender infused pillows. But these are. And I can't wait to try these out tonight. I'm just holding off on them to share them with you. And now they're going on my bed. Because I um I typically change my linens on Sundays. Is when I wash and either change them or just wash them and, and put them back on the bed. And so, one, the fact that these got a little purpleness to them. I know I like purple. But now, the lavender scent, it is not just exuding lavender, in case you're wondering. It's not super strong by any means. It's activated by, like, touch, by you rubbing on it. So, imagine, like, you know, when you lay down and, you know, your head is kind of rubbing on it, it will start to give you a little bit of a lavender scent to help calm you. Now, the way I got the scent was just by holding the pillow and kind of, like, massaging it a little bit. And I can smell it by getting close. Like right now, with it being right in front of me, I can't smell it. I would have to hold it up to my nose to get a scent. So, of course, you'd be probably equally close to it if you're laying on it. But it's not something that's overpowering. So, if you're worried about, like, ooh, like, you know, that would give you a headache or something, it shouldn't. Because it's it's not just like, sh just like, oh, laughing, laughing, laughing. Like, you have to activate it. So, it's a very light uh, scent. But either way, I'm intrigued because... I had not seen anything like this before by anybody, to be honest, but especially not Serta. And like I said, I am a fan of Serta pillows. Um, so we'll see. And these are, these they say jumbo because I think of the thickness, but they are standard size, like standard queen size. And I, that's what I have. I have queen size bed, queen, whatever. And these were only $16.99 for a two pack. So that's awesome. It says here, refreshing, soothing, scented fabric makes for a relaxing sleep experience. Um, the scented fabric refreshes itself with friction, contact, and laundrying. Um, it has luxuriously soft knit, so it's naturally breathable construction. And it has the Supra Loft Plus polyester fiber, which combines superior loft with lasting comfort. So I, I can't wait. Can't wait to sleep on those. And they also have like copper and bamboo and some other stuff that's like, I, ha I think I've seen like the bamboo or one of them. I've seen bamboo pillows. I know those exist. Not necessarily the certain version, but I've seen them. And the copper, same thing. But like, I ain't never seen them infused with lavender. Yeah, I'm ready to try that out. The other thing that this Ross tended to have that I wasn't aware that whether Ross carries them or maybe it's just this Ross or maybe I just hadn't been checking for in Ross um but candles really nice candles and when I say really nice meaning aesthetically pretty and also some really nice scents um I can't speak to whether or not these are necessarily clean candles in terms of like you know the chemicals or whatever's in them because it doesn't really have an ingredients list on them it tells you like what the scents are but it doesn't tell you you know what's in them so we don't know. But I love the aesthetics of them. Like this one, this blue that you see down there is actually um, still there. So like even after you burn the candle, this will be pretty. It has this nice kind of wooden top here. This will be great in like a coastal theme is what I'm thinking of this one. And it's very appropriate because this is by the brand um, Aroma Light. And the scent is called... Um, Mykonos, I think I pronounced that correctly. It's the city in Greece. So, <laughs> if you know, you know. And the scent is bergamot, rosemary, and citrus. And this is a 13.5 ounce candle for $7.99. It's a two wick candle. And it smells divine. It definitely gives like that coastal, breezy. Um, scent, I'm a beach girly, like I grew up going to the beach several times. I, I lived like an hour from uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. So the beach is like my second home. And I can definitely see keeping this just for the aesthetic even after the fact. Because even, I don't know if you guys can see, but even in the lid, there's kind of like a little hint of blue. So yeah, this will be a great coastal room addition. Um, and this was $7.99. 
next up, I ended up getting four candles. So next up, this candle is called Balance. And the scent, this one's by Aroma Villa. I think that one's Aroma Light. Yeah, that's Aroma Light. This one's Aroma Villa. Don't know if they're related. Um, and it's Amethyst Sage. And it's called Balance. It's a 16 ounce candle. And it was $7.99. I know it's hard to see the um, label because it's in white. And this one's also a two wick smells divine and i think and i think i have the wrong lid on here because this one is from a different candle it says ginger and sea salt and i feel like this one it says here amethyst sage so don't know what's going on here but um this one i think is supposed to be one where it's like it's supposed to like if you're meditating or you know so, trying to just get in like a zone like that this is supposed to be like have scents that kind of help trigger those things that that kind of concentration and all of that there was one that had a very interesting story on it talking about like how it's connected to the moon scent or something it was supposed to help like with your connect you to your moon and like the intuit or oh, increase your intuition and something else or something else i want that candle so i think i'm gonna have to take another ride out there to get that candle and i thought that that's what i was getting when i got this but it wasn't and then i looked at the top and i'm like this says something totally different so i think i got the wrong top but the right candle but i'm not sure but we're gonna ride back out there and check that out but i like this nonetheless Um, next up, this is also by Aroma Villa. Again, when I say the aesthetics, these are so pretty. This one says relax, and this is wild eucalyptus. And it was only $6.99 for a 13.5 ounce candle. And it's a two wick as well. And I actually own this one already, and I burned this one in my bedroom. It smells wonderful. It makes your bedroom, it does give the relaxing, calming, um, you know vibes it's just, it is it's just a vibe and so that's why i bought a second one because i'm like i really liked it it's got a good burn time and that's one thing i've noticed about other candles compared to like bath and body works is that bath and body works burn time sucks <laughs> um especially for the price that's that's what i'm looking at is the price um then we have this last one which is palo santo and this one it says exclusive batch aroma i don't know what the difference is between them um, but it's also a 13.5 ounce candle. It says it is hand poured as well. And this is also Aroma Light. So the same company that did the first candle that I showed you, the Mykonos candle. And it's got that nice wood top. Also two wick. And this one was $7.99 as well. I just love this. That's all that I got from Ross. Other than, oh, yes. The reusable bag, 99 cents. Both super cute. They had quite a few cute bags. I love those bags. Even though I have a trunk full of them. So that's all I got from Ross. And my final store that I'm going to share with you guys is Marshalls. And I actually went to Marshalls for one thing. And I got it. Which was the um, these drawers. These are like the acrylic clear drawers there's actually only two they're two kind of big pull out drawers i still have the plastic on them so i won't pull out the black thing that you see should be on the bottom um it's just pushed over on the side but it should be sitting on the bottom like this one um it's just even though it has those lines that make it look like it's more than one it's just a single drawer here now it said that this is the you know west end avenue multi-use organizer clear view um and it's yeah it's just the big drawer and i like that because this is all i need and i can put my lip glosses in here and i can probably stand them up like my fenty lip glosses i think they'll stand up in here and that's what i got this for to house more of my um lip gloss collection and other cosmetics but mainly lips and this was on clearance for six dollars we love a good clearance deal because we know these acrylic things can be super expensive um so that was a great deal and everything that i bought from marshall's was on clearance you will see this red sticker um i got this KitchenAid set here and this was 550 
and I basically only bought it. I don't know how it shows up to you guys, but these are purple. And that's why I bought them because purple is my favorite color. But I could actually use new spoons and spatulas as well. Um, I need to go through my kitchen stuff and just like revamp. Because you know how over time you just collect, you know, different, you know, mix match stuff. So I think I want some, make sure I have like all the good quality ones. And KitchenAid is a good quality. So I'll wash these off and put these to good use um, for these. And the last thing I got <laughs> was a very random find as well. And these are some sprinkles. These were $3.99. They are by the brand um, Dean Jacobs Bunny Brights. So clearly they have an Easter theme. If you are, you can't tell, that is definitely the theme here. Now they did have another option that had purple and blue where the sprinkles were. But they were a bigger grain and I wanted the finer uh, grain of sprinkle. And then they have, these are like the little circular dot ones, which I like the color gumbo. I just didn't need either of these, but I'll find a reason to use them. Um, of course, like I said, they are Easter themed, but I wanted these because I am going to be making my own Pop-Tart, um, a homemade Pop-Tart. And so, you know, when you buy the Pop-Tarts, you have the icing and it has sprinkles. And so I was just trying to find a good, cute sprinkle color. And I actually do have a singular bottle of blue as well. So we'll see how that goes, but stay tuned because I will be sharing that experience with you guys as well. Um, so yeah, this month I got a lot of new stuff coming down the line and I'm eventually going to make my vision board, which I have the vision in my head. I'm actually going to make one and we're going to share that process too. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. If you are new here, welcome. Hope you will like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.